um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, Myers-Briggs um, personality typing again and uh, more delve into um, sensing and intuition. And I just wanted to go over, um, I guess, the basic format of sensing and intuition and um, the differences and how it manifests in certain people and personality types. Um, and kind of have a, I think it, think about, you know, the dichotomy between the two and um, what it means, I guess, as a whole thing. Um, and as an INFJ, I think, I'll ha I, think I have a very uh, INFJ response to this question. Um, so, um, <clears throat> sensing versus intuition, um, as for sensing, um, most sensors uh, look at the internal reality, uh, the external world, and they kind of see it very pragmatically, very concrete. The details are there. They use their five senses to kind of look at everything. Um, it's very cut and c cut and dry for them. And uh, for us, the intuitive types, the N intuitive types, um, you know, we see patterns and and um, meanings and hidden possibilities, and um, uh, more kind of in interconnection of ideas rather than you know, what's actually there, we kind of looked at what's behind the scenes, what's behind what's going on. So, um, <clears throat> another way for me to kind of describe intuition would be, um, uh, one person has called it automatic processing, is when, um, if you're reading a, if you're reading a, a, a sentence, you read the first few letters, of, you read different parts of the sentence, and then you kind of put it together, but you're automatically doing it. You're not doing it just from, um, you, you don't have to put every letter together and make that a word. Um, it just happens. You're so used to it. Your, your mind has been developed enough to where you can do that. And, um, you know, that's what, that's what uh, <clears throat> intuitives do, I guess. I guess it's automatic processing involved with, you know, pats and, patterns and thoughts and ideas. And, and that's, that's an interesting idea I've heard of. Um, I saw it from this one blog on, on NF Geeks, uh, which is a cool, cool site. Um, <clears throat> and so, so um, after doing a lot of research on the difference between sensors and intuitives, I kind of became uh, very interested in and kind of almost obsessed with it because it explains a lot. Um, it says to me, a lot of st statistics have said that 75% of the population are sensors and um, 25, I guess, are intuitives. So... Uh, and I've seen that multiple times, and I'll, I've been on the message boards at Personality Cafe and other things, and, and people talking, and uh, the intuitives really don't like the sensors. The uh, most intuitives think that sensors are very, uh, uh, they use lower intelligence, dumber, concrete fact, rule abiding, um, and, and in some cases that might be true and stuff, but there are, I mean, there are different levels. This is not a measure of intelligence, this is a measure of I guess per how you process information and and your how it goes into your personality type. So, um, you know, <clears throat> so there's a lot of sensor like I guess hate and discrimination on those sites and everything. And I, and I was I I feel myself getting that way too. Where, you know, I, I just like why don't why don't people just get it? Why don't people understand what I'm talking about? And I'm I, I usually am thinking big picture, bigger idea things. Um, patterns and I see the hidden meanings behind things and some people don't get it and they like look at me when I say these things and they're like what are you talking about and like I usually type them as a sensor and most most likely if you talk to someone they are a sensor for 75% of the population so it's it's for us intuitives it's hard to find people who are like us um that kind of thing and it's it, it and most intuitives feel bullied or or not bullied but you know like not like we're part of the the main whole of society and I think there's some there's some substance to that, but um, f but my kind of I guess INFJ perspective on this um, is that <clears throat> I think that people should be themselves, and I think there needs to be a balance within our society. I think that we should try to become more like fifty percent of the population is a sense uh, you know becomes a sensor, and we get more intuitives. And I think the internet and and the new way we do business and the way we do marketing and and and. I guess, like, if you look at Google's and Apple's, I think those people are more intuitive-minded rather than sensor-minded. And I think we're, we're approaching that, and it's going to naturally happen. But I just I think it's important that everyone needs to be themselves. And I think a lot of the times, and in many cases, people act according to the group and according to, um, you know, what's expected of them in society. And, and a lot of people might become a sensor that way. Um, maybe, and, and I, I want people to be people who themselves, who they are. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can't fault anyone for being themselves. But um, 
if you're not being yourself, that's when you can fault someone. So if, if you think, if you're an intuitive and you're acting like a censor, um, I don't think that's right. And if you're a censor and, and you're acting like an intuitive and, I mean, I mean, no, there's a, a, a spectrum of these things, but you should probably find your best self and just be that, I think, and, and, and work on being that best self you can. Um, that's very INFJ. <laughs> um, and then, uh, you know, just, just do that. And then, uh, what else was I going to say? So here's a good example of what I mean. And I think we need to walk on both sides. But here's a very good example. So I'm a, I write a lot, and I'm a writer, and I do things like that. And <clears throat> when I'm writing, I write about these big ideas and these big patterns and these images come in my mind, and it's crazy, and it's, it's more about the feeling of the people and, and the meaning behind it and all that. And then, like, I forgot, then I look at my writing and I go, I forgot to describe what the room looks like. I forgot to describe what the wall looks like, you know, like, what's, what's going on in the room. And those, those things do matter. If the audience doesn't see those things when you're writing, they can get confused. Um, and, 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 like, you know, some people need to have those concrete details to imagine something or, or... So, for me, as an intuitive writer, I would be not, you know, I, a sensor might not get what I'm talking about. But also, I could be a better writer if I write, you know, those concrete details about being a censor, you know, like censors would. So, I think that's for me, I need to learn and I become a better person by walking on that side. And I think a lot of censors could gain a lot of, um, you know, uh, uh, new perspective or new, or new experience or, or just another side to themselves if they thought, you know, bigger picture or saw the patterns and meanings behind things. And I think, I think people should try that. Just... Just try doing something that, that, you know, you're a certain way all the time mostly, but then just try being a little different here and there. I think that's a good, I think that's a good way to be. So, um, yeah, I just, I just keep talking about, I just, that, that particular subject is interesting to me because it shows the gap between sensors and intuitives, and I, and I see a lot more anxiety from the, the intuitives to, towards the sensors rather than, you know just it, it's not like the extrovert the introverts kind of have it out for the in, extroverts a little bit but the feelings and thinkers and the, the judging and perceiving there's no like clash there so that's why i put this video first i will think i will talk about um introversion extroversion and then uh thinking and feeling and then perception uh, perceiving and judging later together in separate videos but um i think i think that's where we're at now so let me just know what you guys think and um well, I'll make some more videos soon. Thanks. Bye.